What is up, EA Nation fans? This is Ian Nasco 48 here, and uh, welcome to another vlog. Um, I don't do videos on Tuesday, but unfortunately, um, after what happened to the uh, Verizon IndyCar race at Pocono for the uh, ABC Supply 500, uh, when uh, Sage Crown crashed and then debris were scattering and then it hit Justin Wilson in the head, so he suffered a brain injury. And then Later on, he was in a coma. He was in a coma for like, I don't know how long, I would say. Um, from Sunday to uh, Monday. Then I, what I heard from like uh, Monday night, somewhere around 9.30, I guess. Justin Wilson uh, later died at age of 37. I didn't know about it because um, I was about to get ready to go to sleep, so... Yeah, so when I woke up, I was showering, I was brushing my teeth, like, I was getting ready to go to, uh, to school, and then after I got ready, I checked my phone, like, I went check over about Justin Wilson's, uh, condition, I, um, I look for, I searched for Justin Wilson because I, I do look for people to see uh, how they're doing, like, I hope they're good, but then when it first loaded, it said... Justin Wilson dies at age of 37. When I first react to that, when I when I first uh, saw it, I, I almost cried. Like, I, I felt tears about to come out. And it was really... I just don't know. Words cannot describe how you feel. Um, it's really tragic. Like, I almost cried, like, not just IndyCar, not just IndyCar fans, not just Justin Wilson fans lost Justin Wilson. The racing community and, yeah, the racing community lost a very great driver, a great friend to IndyCar drivers, and a great, yeah, a great driver. I remember seeing him winning at Texas back in uh, 2012 by passing Graham Ray Hall. Man, I remember watching that race like it was yesterday. Yeah, I just can't believe it. I, I, I just feel like that IndyCar needs to do something with the cockpit um, before the beginning of the 2016 Verizon IndyCar series. I just hope that they need to do something because it's getting worse and worse. We lost Jules Bianchi, we lost Jules Bianchi after a nine month coma, even though he got hit by a crane. Um, I don't know how to explain that. Now we lost, um, now we lost Justin Wilson. Today, the main video I'm talking about, the vlog video, is, um, I met Justin Wilson, um, at St. Petersburg. Trust me, I did. Like, I got my IndyCar shirt that my dad gave me, and he signed this shirt. I just can't believe he signed it. Yeah, look right. He signed it. Then um before uh Justin left or before I left, I forgot how it went. Um I told Justin Justin uh, hey Justin ha have a great season and then he he was like, "Thank you." And I can't believe it. I can't believe I met a really great driver and I and then he responded to me back and I got his autograph. I just can't believe he passed. I do not I do not like how racing becomes really dangerous. They, he died of what he loved to do. And um I want to race, but it's just a uh, danger, but you got to man up. You signed up for this. And um yeah. I just don't know what to say. Just can't believe Justin Wilson passed away. He signed my shirt, and I think I took a picture with him. Uh, I was with my uncle, and my aunt at that race, and I just can't believe he re he replied me back saying, "I okay, here's how." I went. Sorry, I'm just uh, confused. Let me think. I told him have a great season, and then he responded me back saying, 
Thank you. Wow. And then here we are. I think uh, 12, 17 months later. Almost, uh, almost 18, yeah, almost 17 months later. He died at, he died at Pocono. So, um, probably Friday night, uh, I will do a Grid Alice Board, uh, tribute lap of, uh, in honor of Justin Wilson. Yeah. Rest in peace, Justin Wilson. Godspeed. God is, God is taking care of you. You're better off. No, you're in heaven now. You're no longer in pain. You don't have to worry about more danger. God is right there. He is. He will always protect you no matter what. He is right there. Godspeed, guys. Godspeed. Justin Wilson and uh, rest in peace and thank you for watching this uh, vlog video. Godspeed.